Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Hashtag never Trumper Glenn Beck, who regularly accused Trump supporters of being Nazi, now jumps on the Trump train. Now Glenn Beck, now Glenn Beck ruined his reputation and career by endorsing Hillary Clinton for president and comparing Trump supporters to Nazis. Glenn Beck regularly compared Trump supporters to Nazis, as I said. He also warned CNN of Trump's alt-right racist Nazi KKK threats, if you remember that. He also accused Steve Bannon of clear ties to a white nationalist. And he also said that voting for a sociopath Trump brings eternal consequences as well as endorsing Hillary Clinton for president. Now this same Glenn, Glenn Beck, after Donald Trump won in a landslide on Thursday, put on a Trump MAGA hat and endorsed the Republican president. It took him a year and a half to endorse President Trump. Now at the end of his confession, Glenn Beck asked for forgiveness from Donald Trump. What about his so-called Nazi supporters, Glenn? Here's why I'm predicting a 2020 win. When I saw yesterday, the, how the press was all reporting the same damn story that Donald Trump was calling MS-13 gang members, they left that out of the story, animals, and they were spinning it as if he was saying that about all immigrants, I'd had enough. I'd have enough. Media, if you can get me, Glenn Beck, to do this, and in case you're only listening to us on radio, I just donned a red Make America Great Again hat. If you can drive me to the point to where I say, uh, you know what, I've had enough. I'll vote for him in 2020. Gladly I'll vote for him in 2020. And not really even on his record, which we'll talk about here in a second, is pretty damn amazing. But if you can drive me to the point to where I'll wear one of these stupid red hats, I'm telling you, you're making a gigantic mistake. And I welcome it. I welcome it. Because anything that gets dishonest, corrupt people that don't care about the truth at all. So what did you do yesterday? What did you do after you said... Uh, oh, well, you know, Donald Trump, oh, he hates all immigrants. Look what he said. He called them animals. You just deleted the tweets. You deleted them. And then, and then you have the audacity to start furthering the conversation on, well, you know, even if he did mean that, they're not animals. Shut up. Shut up. If those animals took your daughter and did what they've done to other Americans' daughters, you'd call them an animal. And if they're not animals, I don't know what is. Now, does that mean that we just shoot them in the streets and then eat them? No. What are you? Are you a first grader? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, you keep reminding us that you're some of the best educated people in the world. And don't tell me, New York Times, that you didn't have a fact checker on it. Did nobody in the entire New York Times, did nobody in the Associated Press stop and say, wait a minute, can we see what the sentence before this clip was? The sentence before. It's not like you had to go a long way for context. Just oh, about 10 seconds. Rewind the tape about 10 seconds. See, you know why people are done with this? Yeah, you can say Donald Trump is a bully. And you know what? Donald Trump doesn't need anybody to defend himself. Um, he, is, he is quite capable of taking care of himself. That's clear. But he's one guy. And this is the way it's beginning to appear. And it has for a while. But when you can get me to don a Make America Great Again hat, I think it's permeated everywhere. He's one guy.
You're a legion of people. And don't think that I don't think at some point you might say, we are legion. You're a legion of people with global resources, 24 hours a day, hammering one man, just hammering over and over and over again. And you don't believe in your case. You don't believe that the truth is enough. You just got to make stuff up. You, this is truly Trump derangement syndrome. You have to look at this man and say, okay, you know what? There's some things I don't like. There's some things that maybe I do like. Or there's things that he does that I think are really wrong. But look at these. These things are changing the world. Now, how you balance that is fine. But you can't give this guy anything. In fact, it's not that you won't give him anything. It's not that you just won't report on good things. You have to make up bad things. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. So that is today. And I know I ask forgiveness on Donald Trump from Donald Trump on this Please forgive me, Mr. Trump, for predicting that you will sweep in 2020. Because every time I ever am for a candidate, they always lose. So I won't endorse you because that's the kiss of death. But I will tell you, the things that you have done as the president are remarkable, remarkable, I yesterday, because of the New York Times and Associated Press, I yesterday went and looked at your campaign promises, and then I looked at what you've done. I'm going to do that on the radio here in just a second. It's remarkable. And in fact, just Israel alone may be the ballsiest and best thing I have ever seen any president do in my lifetime. And that's saying something, because I'm a pretty big fan of, oh, I don't know, killing communism with Ronald Reagan. Now, Mark Dice makes a good point. He tweeted out this. Um, he said, real smart to come out as a Trump voter and at the same time call the MAGA hat stupid. Wow, you are a moron. Just retire and go away, referring to Glenn Beck. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report and, and, and uh, Glenn Beck's newfound love for Donald Trump. Is it real? Is it fake? What do you feel about it? Let me know below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.